interesting things happening when you put two of these flashing LEDs in series. Now I reckon these are designed for 5 volts, so 2 on a 9 volt battery is fine and they stay cool uh, in that configuration. <laughs> Whoops! For a while they're in phase, which is there, so they flash together. Then they go into anti-phase, so I've drawn the two waveform diagrams, let's move that over a bit. When they're in phase, the LEDs are both on. When they're in anti-phase, it looks to me like the chip, which is presumably a counter chip um, implemented in silicon, much easier to implement a complex digital counter than an analog circuit using capacitive timing, because capacitors are big, whereas digital counters are tiny. So when they go out of phase, when one of the LEDs is off, the other one can only light up really dimly. And you do see that really dim illumination. And then there's that rapid flash, and that must be when they're completely in antiphase. I'll draw that diagram, which is this. And clearly when one of the LEDs is not illuminated, then very little current passes through the other LED because it's only the chip that's consuming current. When the chip turns the LED on, that allows a high current to pass through the other LED. So they can only be bright when they're on together. In this situation, in theory, they're not on at all together, so you should get a period of total dark. But I suspect that there are little misalignments between these edges. And those brief flashes are probably briefer than you think, or briefer than they appear. Often if you pulse an LED with an extremely short pulse, it looks to the naked eye like it's a much longer pulse. So I'm guessing, and bear in mind of course that these are running at slightly different rates, that there are little edge effects which cause this... Oh, that was bound to happen. Yes, edge effects which cause these brief pulses of light because in fact these edges do overlap very slightly. And of course it only remains in antiphase, absolute pure antiphase, for the very briefest period of time, which you're barely going to see. So it's a very interesting effect putting them in series. Now, of course, we know that if you put a standard red LED in series with one of these flashing LEDs, I'm going to knock these out again, aren't I? Um, they both flash in sympathy with each other. But do you see this very dim illumination in the standard LED? when the flashing LED is ostensibly off. I shall have to try that in another video. What I don't think is happening is I don't think that at any point the counter chips are rebooting. It's, it's actually very hard to tell. I've been standing here staring at this thing for quite some time. But the sort of total cycle duration which lasts about 10 seconds, I suppose. It's, it's the cycle time when they go out of phase and then come back into phase. Appears to be completely constant. So I think the counter chips are running continuously without any form of reboot. There's obviously enough current running through an off LED to provide current to the on LED, the counter circuit in the on LED, to keep it counting without any glitch.